But we are interrupting because Rhode Island U.S. Congressman David Cicilline is in Washington and joining us now via Zoom to speak about this unprecedented moment. Our team is tracking this breaking news. Target 12 Managing Editor Tim White, Politics Editor Ted Nisi joining us now with the latest. Yeah, Brian and Kim, rioters first stormed the Capitol around 2 o'clock. And as you said, we're joined now live via Zoom by Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline. Congressman, thank you for joining us. If you could bring us inside the House chamber when things started to devolve. What did you did you see and at any point did you feel unsafe? No, uh, I am uh, in my office building. Uh, I have remained here at the direction of the Sergeant at Arms. Only the people that were speaking at a particular time were uh, allowed to be on the House floor. So we watched the proceedings uh, from my office. Uh, the protesters began to arrive earlier this morning, but there was a small group. They began to get larger, but it was relatively peaceful. Uh, at some point, they began to storm the Capitol. They actually breached the Capitol and went into the statuary hall, into the House and Senate chambers. Uh, and uh, that's when the proceedings were interrupted completely. Congressman, uh, you've been on Capitol Hill for 10 years now. I mean, certainly we've never seen anything like that. But, you know, did you fear it would get this bad? Or what is your reaction to this today? No, I mean, this is this is shocking. I mean, this is a ritual that is conducted every four years where the voices of the American people as they elect our president are officially recorded. This is a sacred tradition. Uh, and the president of the United States, sadly, has been promoting this lie that uh, he was cheated and that this was a fraudulent election. He had a rally this morning where he encouraged his supporters uh, to come to Capitol Hill and do everything possible to stop it from happening. And, uh, you know, that's exactly what happened. These are not patriots. These are domestic terrorists. They're extremist lawbreakers who, who, who broke into the Capitol, destroyed property committed crimes and really are trying to undermine the voices of the American people, the right we have to elect our own president. It's shocking behavior. The president um, is responsible for having promoted this lie and for telling his supporters that they've been cheated on something that they haven't been cheated on. But it's it's a sad day for our country. It's a sad day for the world that looks to America to provide leadership as the greatest democracy in the history of the world. And the peaceful transition of power is a cornerstone of our democracy. So we have to get back to work and get this done. And we can't not allow these criminals to, to interfere with Congressman, this about 40 minutes ago, live here on 12 News, Congressman Jim Langevin called this a coup, which is a pretty strong word. Do you agree with him? And so it certainly was an attempted coup. These are individuals that are trying to thwart uh, the uh, democratically held election in our country and substitute their own choice for the choice of the American people. Uh, we are not going to allow that to happen. The president has facilitated that. He needs to be held accountable for it. Uh, but our democracy is going to withstand this challenge. But this is a, a very dark day. And we have to be sure that we move forward with what the Constitution requires to record the votes of the Electoral College. Congressman, our- uh, Announce the election of Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. Our, our time's running our short, election. just very briefly. Uh, wh what's next? How many hours have you been told you're gonna be locked down and then when will you go back to the floor or when will it resume? And we have about 20 seconds, so, Congressman. Yeah, I think uh, it, they're clearing now. The uh, additional law enforcement support has arrived. And so I think the expectation is they will clear the protesters. And my expectation is these proceedings will resume this evening. Congressman David Cicilline, thank you. Stay safe.